well. Today we're gonna spend some time decorating our front porch for the autumn season. I'm so excited about this because I do have some DIY and craft ideas in mind. So hopefully the visions will come into fruition. The main one is creating some sort of wreath or front door display. I'm thinking a round reef will go with that, but who knows, once we're out and about at the craft store, maybe we'll get some other inspiration. Right now I have a basket on the front door with some plants, which I really like, and I have real plants in them, but we could always switch out the real plants and repot them for the next couple of seasons and then put some like dried fall florals. I don't know, we can keep our mind open, but I'm excited to put things together and spend time with you all. Our first stop of the day is Hobby Lobby. I haven't been here for probably about a year, so I don't know what to expect, but I was thinking since it's sort of like a home decor and a craft store, it would be a good place to start because hopefully they'll have supplies to make your own wreath and hopefully they'll have some type of florals that we can use. We can just browse to see what else they have to offer. And then depending on what we find here, this could possibly be one of our only stops. And then I also want to go to the garden center to hopefully find some mums. Middle of the road is just a feeling of a Distant melody unknown I was doing fine I minded my own business Till the day you took me home You came into my life Like a sweet embrace Swept me off my feet And made me whole again Look at all this fairy stuff. Oh wow. <laughs> fairy garden inspiration. Say less. What's going on? Still minding my own business Never knew the life had just begun You came into my life Like a sweet embrace Swept me off my feet And made me whole again You came in my life I want to see get this one for the front porch we are home i picked up a pumpkin cream cold brew on the way home so delicious i always get it half sweet and that's the perfect balance of sweetness and that pumpkin flavor but also the strong coffee cold brew flavor so cheers it was a very successful outing let me start with the home or what is it called hobby lobby items it really was exactly what I was hoping for, so I'm really thankful. So the first two items that I got are these baskets, which I plan to put the mums in, which we did find mums at the garden center. I'm so excited, and I think this will be a good fit. And what was great about this is that it's already lined, so it has lining on the inside, so once we water the plants and stuff, it won't damage the outside of the basket too much, hopefully. Okay, and then, we got our dried florals. Well, first, before I do that, this wreath, what would it be called? A wreath outline or, I yeah, I mean, you could just use it as is. I think this is really beautiful and very natural looking. So I'm so excited about it. And even with all these little nooks and crannies, I think it'll be quite simple to string the dried floral through it. And we have some floral wire as well that I'll use to secure everything. But this is such a great find. I'm really so thankful they had something that I was envisioning. I actually thought I would end up getting some kind of foam wreath outline or mold. I'm not sure the proper word for it, but that was even better because I don't really have to hide 
the outline, but if it was a foam or plastic one, I definitely want to cover it up, but that looks very natural, like I said. So thankful about that. And then I also picked up these dried corals. So we have a combination of dried eucalyptus, and then this is called flax. I don't know exactly, but I liked the look of that. And we still have some extra dried floral from decorating, so I'll probably sprinkle some of that in as well. And then I really just loved their fairy garden area. I thought it was the cutest thing. And I saw these little mushrooms. The mushrooms keep finding me, okay? I'm not finding the mushrooms. They are finding me, and they are just irresistible at the moment. But I want to put some of these in my garden as cute little decor, just sprinkled through some of the boxes. And then we may end up putting some somewhere on the porch, but I just thought they were super, super sweet. And then the last two, or no, yeah, this is from Hobby Lobby as well. And this is dry foam. What is it called? Desert dry foam. And basically my plan is to use this to hopefully create a cylinder DIY floral display. When we went shopping for autumn home decor this season or this year, we went to a local shop, a florist shop, and they had this beautiful cylinder dried floral globe almost and I was really inspired by that so I might try to recreate something like that so I thought we could play around with that and then we also got these pumpkins and oh these are actually from Lowe's so I got these when I was at the garden center and I went inside and found these and my vision for these is to actually we're gonna do a little DIY and give it a little twist so I'm going to cut the top off the pumpkin. I'm sure you've seen it before, but where you take the top off and you put flowers in it and kind of use it as a planter. So I want to do that. And this is actually a carvable pumpkin. So it was designed to be carvable. So that's hopefully going to make our lives a little easier. And before I do, or no, I'll cut it first. And then after I cut it, I want to paint it and I want to create... I don't know exactly what color I'm gonna go for. I think I wanna darken it up a bit. And I, ha I pulled out a few paints that I have, so we'll kind of play around and settle on a color. And I wanna add texture as well. So I've seen this done many times recently where you combine paint and flower and it creates like a beautiful, almost ceramic-like texture when you're finished painting it. So we're gonna try our hand at that and hope for the best. But I think we should go ahead and start with that and then we'll give it time to dry before we plant our flowers, which I'll give you a closer look of the flowers I picked up later today. But I wanna go ahead and get it, get painting so that I can dry. About painting it also even though the flowers will probably cover up it cover it up a bit is that I'll be able to sort of um, make the edge hopefully a little less noticeable I had to use this big knife which felt a little dramatic but it only took a couple minutes and I think it'll be really cute I'm also excited that I'll be able to use these for years to come Teddy bear and that's really all I need to know. That's so cute. 
So I'm making a little mix and we have our flour in here. I put quite a bit of flour, so we'll see. I don't really know what the ratio is supposed to be, like the paint to flour ratio. So we'll mix it up and see how we feel. Oh no, one of my paints is really old, this one, so it's so thick. I don't know if it's gonna work very well. It's kind of just clumping up. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need to <laughs> add more paint because it's too dry. Okay, yeah, definitely don't use this much flour. I was a bit too generous with it. At this time tomorrow, there's something you need to know. I got used to see you as a friend, but deep inside, there's something else I know. Okay, our pumpkins are drying. I think they look really cute. Also, I love how it looks like they're glowing because of the orange interior, but hopefully it'll dry nicely. I think it will. It's a little splotchy, but you can't really notice it. And I love how the color turned out. So stay tuned on the final product, but I laid out all of the dried florals. Oh, I need to get the floral wire, but I'm excited to make the wreath. I really just want to kind of go for a similar, a similar look to our garland. And I was thinking, oh, it would have been cute to get some fairy lights as well, but I forgot about that, but maybe we can add that later on. But this floral wire, let me show you. Okay, here's what it looks like. And you only need to use a little bit for each branch. And thankfully, it really just helps keep it so secure. And again, it was easier for our garland to, st to stay secure since it's indoors. So we'll see how this fares outside with the rain and the wind, which clearly we get a lot of. But I'm excited to experiment.
here's the finished product. I really love it. I think it turned out super sweet. I ended up using a whole bag of the dried eucalyptus and then a bit of the dried florals I already had. And I could keep adding onto it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stop here. And I wanna go find a ribbon to hang at the bottom because I also think that would be sweet. So let's play around with that. in a little bit and I could tie it in a bow but I kind of just like more simple look but once we hang it up we'll feel it out that I ended up getting. We have these beautiful mums. These are orange mums. That's what the label says, but they look more like a tri-color collection. They're so beautiful. They're not quite in bloom yet. Some of them are peeking through, but hopefully that'll mean they'll be able to last us the whole season. And I also picked up this bougainvillea because they had so many bougainvilleas that were just shining in the sunshine and just called my name, which we already have our bougainvillea arch over there and we it is growing rapidly which is so lovely and i'm so excited about it but my original idea when i planted the bougainvillea was to kind of have a mix of colors because there are many different color varieties and right now the one we have in already planted is a deep red or deep pink and this one's more of a peachy color which i thought would look so beautiful paired next to the dark pink when the bracts are blooming later in the winter so i'm going to go ahead and plant this at the base where the other one is planted and then continue to intertwine and then we'll have two different colors and maybe i'll even add more colors because they have yellow varieties and other pinkish ones so i just think they are so gorgeous and then we have some yellow mums which i'm going to pair the yellow mums with these beauties these are so gorgeous this is the name i'm not totally sure how to make how to say it celosia celosia i'm not sure but I'm gonna pair this one with the yellow mums and then these cute orange ones, which they look like marigolds, but I think they had a different name. So I'll put it on the screen because the tag fell off, but I think that'll look really cute in our pumpkins that we DIY'd. Beautiful, at least I sure hope. I think they look so sweet. I am thinking through things a little more though. And I feel like one, for the mums in the basket, I may wanna put some sort of weight in the basket because it's still 
pretty light and we get some crazy storms and winds so that's something to keep an eye on and then i should have done a drainage hole at the bottom of our diy planters because i did not leave space for them to drain excess water but we'll keep taps on that and that's definitely an easy fix if needed i can feel it I found these solar power lanterns on Amazon and they are so neat. I have to show you them at night because that's when they are really shining in their full glory. But I love the moon design and then we have the sun design as well. So I think I'm going to put this little planter of succulents I have out here and put it on our bistro table over here and then put one of the lanterns on the side table and then I'll put the other one in the back. are real fantasy pumpkins and I found them at Trader Joe's for such a phenomenal price. I am so in awe of them. I love how the different textures are so unique and just the color variety. It's so incredible that this is found in nature. It's just absolutely stunning and I'm really hoping that it'll fare okay with the heat because we probably still have a few weeks of some super hot days but I'm feeling okay about it. They feel pretty healthy and thick and durable and hopefully they'll last the whole season and then we can roast the pumpkin seeds. Now it's time for our next DIY. And this DIY was inspired by the birch tree in our backyard, which I'm so thankful for this tree because living in Florida, having leaves on the ground is a rarity because a lot of our natural flora and fauna here is just very tropical and having these you know quintessential fall leaves is not a super common thing but our birch tree in the backyard it has so many fallen leaves and it's so interesting because it doesn't become bare but it does rotate its leaves quite often so we have these wonderful leaves and i wanted to put them to use so i have this idea we'll see how it turns out but i was thinking we could take the leaves and make a garland with them simply by making a little hole punch in them which let's see how this works i'll give you a closer look we'll see if this is a seamless process or it's tricky okay absolutely seamless there we have it so we'll make a hole punch and then thread string in it which for bigger ones i might do two hole punches or even this one i could do two hole punches it so that it sort of is horizontal and securely fastened horizontally or we could have it dangle like that so i'm gonna play around with it but my idea is to use this and sort of hang it in our entryway with some command hooks um on the columns by our front porch so we'll see and if it doesn't look great there we can use it for another use like for indoors or for the first day of autumn party that we're having soon so that's the idea it's still sort of in the process of being fully fleshed out but i think this would be a great way to sort of create some decor that is very affordable and looks very natural looking
pieces from the leaves are so cute. I'm trying to think of an idea of something I could do with them. Maybe even just some confetti would be fun. Yeah, here it is. I'm gonna spread the leaves out of it once I hang it up, but I think it's so cute. I like it. I still wanna try to make our foam flower globes, but we'll save that for another day. I love how the leaf garland turned out. However, I will say it's time consuming. Not terribly time consuming, but I want to make more of them but I'm just gonna put on a movie or show, get cozy and make them while I can kind of multitask and I don't know, make more of a craft adventure out of it. But I love the way it turned out and I'm excited to make more, but that's gonna be a wrap for today. We had quite the decorating adventure. I'm so thankful we were able to do this and I'm excited to bask in our decorations for the rest of the season. But Thank you so much for watching and spending time with me. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your autumn season and I cannot wait to see you next. Bye.